Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stalosa and today I'm joined by a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey uh, boys, my name's Chips and I'm professional, professional Doomfist player, rank 1 Doomfist and rank 2 Doomfist there. Beautiful. Good you, lad and brother of Chris Tieffer. The, the, the UK legend himself. The UK legend. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, in this video, we've got the best Doomfist player. And we're going to look at some cheeky ways to play Doomfist and some tips and tricks. But this is going to be, like, really advanced. And also, we're going to talk about Doomfist in terms of, like, how powerful he is and maybe how broken he can be as well. All right, over to you, man. Show us right, some magic. Okay. So the first thing, the first thing I want to show you, and probably the most important trip on, trick on Doomfist is it's basically called the Rocket Jump Punch. I don't know what to call it exactly, but basically what it does is... Let me get away from these Zinyars real quick. I'm sorry, I'm just going to kick these guys. So this is basically using... Uh, it's like conserving momentum, isn't it? When you effectively yes. finish the rocket punch, you kind of jump. Yeah, at, so at the same, you, yeah. what you do is that basically the second that, you're ju that you... At the end of your punch, you basically jump and it travels you insanely far compared to like what it should. So, for instance, if I just come to here, right? If I just tap my right click, it takes me this distance, which is virtually nothing. Yeah. Whereas if I tap my, if if I hold if I hold space and then tap right click, it takes me this far, which is ridiculous, <laughs> right? Okay. It's almost like five times. What the hell? Yeah. So, like, let's say I'm get, I'm all inning this guy. I'm like boom, 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 and I need to run away fast. I can just do that, and it takes me super That's far. That's crazy. Yeah. And it also gives you tons of air strafing potential. Like you can strafe around corners and stuff. I mean, it's not full air strafe, but it can take you around corners a lot. And then also you can do it at the end of a end of a jump like this. And that takes you yeah, even further that, than that's, a normal jump. That's what I was doing. Like I didn't realize you could do it with the the small punch. Yeah. Like I was doing it with the long punch. Yeah, the fully yeah. charged fist. So so the long punch, for instance, for instance, on this map, there's a, there's a roller I can do. Like let's let's just say right, that there's a Zinyar like here, yeah. right? Oh, and also guys, we've got cooldowns like reduced as well. Yeah, yeah. Just to make it easy to explain. So what what you can do is that you can essentially do this, right? Which is a little trick. So you jump here, then you E there. And boom, this guy is knocked up from the E, and then you can shoot him once, shift up, and shoot him three times. And you can only do that if you do the jump at the end of your punch. Which is essentially like a little mobility trick that you should be doing almost everywhere when you're that rolling out from spawn. Do it do again. This. That is crazy. Do that again. Right. <laughs> and you, can get, so you can get ridiculously far on certain stages once you learn how to, once you learn how it works. This is really funny to me because I, when I first seen Doomfist, I was like, he is literally the most mobile character in the game, and he was on yeah. the PTR because remember he could like, um, you get, you he could like, up yeah, stuff. E yeah, like above where he was kind of facing, which you can't do now, can he? Uh, well, no, well, you can changed. do it a little bit, but yeah. like, you can't, you can't really do it. It's you have to be just on the same level, so you can't e up anymore. All right, so do you think that's going to get fixed? Or do you I think, think that's it's possible. Just like part I, of the character. I, I, I hope not, but I, <laughs> I, I thought it would get fixed. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like it's something that would be really difficult to fix because I feel like it's the way the game works is what makes it happen. So you have to fundamentally change the way the physics in the game work for it to be fixed. Yeah, so it's like Plus, a, it's a clever use like, of the game system. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And ba right, okay. So, so, so for my next tip, well, basically, I want to talk about how the E, e works now, if that's okay. So basically, there's there's two different forms of your E, right? So if you see, if I jump off here, I have this little blue marker on the, on the ground, right? And this is what I like to call like a honing E. So like it's always going to go to where that is. Oh, we can't but actually it, see that in the spectator client. We can't see the, can't. Uh, no, you can't see the target. Right, okay. But essentially, if any of you guys have played Doomfist, you know that if yeah, they know you're what like it flying is. down, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can see, you can see like a little blue marker, right? Yeah. But if, if you do it from a ledge, for instance, like this, and you can't see, what you ha what what happens is you just do this like same you do the same thing every time where you like jump. It's like basically this this is what happens if there's no there's no blue mark on the floor. You do the same thing. It's the same with it on the ground. And the difference is is that you do you don't have anywhere near the same position, right? So let let's say there's a a guy like right there. Like yeah. I'll put my spray where the guy is, right? If I want to get onto that guy and I do this, it's like it's really fiddly and like you know I can't air strafe during it. But if, if I do what is called a honing E, and I jump, it means I can pretty much go anywhere I want. And this is important because your E is not designed or should not be used as a damage tool. It's generally used as a CC tool to allow you to combo with your uppercuts. Because one of the most common mistakes that I see 
other Doomfist players make is like, let's say again, there's a guy on my spray. Right, I know what you're gonna well, say. Hang on, I know what you're gonna say because I do this. I will uppercut and then I'll e after I've uppercut. Yeah. yeah. Is that and bad? And that, that, <laughs> that's, that's bad. Yeah. That's, that's a mistake. Yeah. Because what what is actually because a lot a lot of people do this, right? Yeah. And this this is bad. This is bad generally. What you want to do is let's say he's here. You want to move in. You want to e him first, and then you want to shoot uppercut him and shoot him three yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. Because your your e your e like sort of sucks them in a little bit. And it's then like a little stun, that, that, but it's not that, a stun, is it? What it it, 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 it like stops kind of them, like doesn't a knock it? Up. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a little stun, but it doesn't last long enough for you to unleash all four of your bullets, right? Yeah. But your uppercut takes you and the guy up in the air, and then you can shoot him like you can you can shoot him like so. Generally, the combo is: let's see if there's a guy there, and you don't want to use your rocket punch here. Yeah? You want to e onto him, right? So that stuns him, knocks him up, gets one free shot. Then you uppercut him, and then shoot him three more times in the air, and that generally will kill almost any 200 HP hero. So again, for instance, if I want to a super advanced little tactic I do on this stage in particular, right? Let's say there's a guy where where the guy was before, like, boom. Oh, okay, I fucked that up. <laughs> okay, just, re just ignore that one. So we do this, right? And we jump there, and then boom. And the E, and it's an 84 damage E as well, because it's traveling so far. And then shoot him once, uppercut him, boom, boom. And he's dead. Just pretty much always dead. If someone's playing here in solo queue, this is the... The sickest way to get killed. Yeah, and they always process. generally are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like all people always hold up here. This is like a super super like stylish way to get kills. So I would say that, that that's the two most important tips on I can give you on Doomfist is to use E shift more than you use shift E. Shift E is generally used to escape and not used to engage. If you want to engage, again, it's E shift. What what you want to use the shift E for is that say let's say you're playing let's say you're playing here, right? And you see like a McCree or something walking like here. What you can do is you can drop with your right click, charge up, boom, slap him into the wall, then shift E away. And that's that that's that's the way you play generally on defense. If you're holding like a high ground position, and there's let's say someone's coming up, you go boom and get out. Like I, I'll show you a different one on uh, on Icon World, which is really used. Again, yeah, this so is this is a generally map dependent thing on certain maps. If you have a little bit of high ground, not not too much high ground, but a little bit. What you can do is you can play on the high ground, you can drop on the enemy, and then um, once you've done that, you can then um, you can punch them into the wall, get a kill, and then shift E away. And worst case scenario, you don't get a kill, but you shift E away and survive, as long as you don't overextend too far, you know? So basically, what you're doing is, in terms of like uh, playing Doomfist, is you're just trying to go in as fast as possible, do damage, and get straight out. Uh, like, Pretty uh, much, what, yeah. Are you like prioritizing targets in that, or just diving into balls of enemies and just trying to do what you can and get back out and then repeat it over and over again. Well, generally, the problem with prioritizing targets is you don't often have a choice. Is Generally, you just choose whatever target's presenting, you, you, presenting yeah. yourself. Yeah. Because, if so for instance, if I show you what it's like on Icon World, okay? Like, let me just kill this and you also respawns. So generally, what you want to do here is you want to like just sit here and the second you like you hear people walking or you know generally the timing, you want to pre-aim your right click. So the second you get on the ground, it's fully charged. Yeah. So you can't you can't really like sit here and look. You can't really sit here and look like okay, there's a Zenyatta there. I'm gonna do it now. You kind of have to pre. You have to, kind of have to pre-charge it, and you just shoot hit anyone that's there, and boom, and then you get out. <laughs> you, can, yeah. you can always do that. And this particular stage is incredible for this. You can just go boom, in, out. Now, also, if you a, a thing with, you can do with your ultimate is if you want to play more aggressive, let's say. Let's just wait for the Zenyatta to come back. So let's say, so your ultimate can generally be used as like a get out of jail free card. So let's say you want to go in, boom, kill the Zenyatta. And then let's say there's like a McCree here. Boom, you go there and then you can combo him here. And you're in the middle of four people. You've killed two. Then you can just ult and get out with your ult. Or you can, even if you're super greedy, you could look for another kill with your ultimate. But generally, if you have your ultimate up, you can play more aggressive because regardless of how bad you mess up, you can always you can always get out with your ultimate pretty yeah, much. So, yeah, ball. that's interesting. So what you're saying is like obviously yeah, you can use the ultimate to kill people, but the yep. fist and just doom fist combos have got so much kill potential anyway. That that yep. just almost like you said gives you a, a free pass to just be crazy aggressive provided yeah. you press Q fast enough to get the hell out of there or whatever you've got. I mean, the problem bouncing. with Doomfist Ultimate is that it's I quite get too easy greedy. to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I like... get too greedy with it. I go in, I start smashing people, I see it up, and I'm like, yeah, pop the Ultimate, and then I just, like, well, I die. <laughs> like, like, against, against, like, good players who know how to play against Doomfist Ultimate, it's, it is quite difficult to get kills. Like, you often, like, like if you ult on the Zen, you might get them down to, like, 1 HP, 
like that. And yeah. then if he's good, he will have charged a right click up and then you'll just right click your face when yeah. he spawns and you'll get chunked super hard. So well, often, what, what you can do as well, especially in dive mare, is like, let's say you go in on the supports backline and then you go in, you kill another one, then you ult away. What you can do is you can just ult, ult back and then you can ult defensively on the enemy tanks because tanks are really easy to hit. And it means that you're in like almost no danger because you're ulting on your backline as like a peel tool. Yeah. And also you can combo, obviously again, if, you, if you're comboing with like an earth shower or, or a Zyra, then you want to use it aggressively. But generally I use most of my ultimates um, as like a, as an escape tool. Yeah. Once I've committed too hard. Hmm. All right. That, that's kind of interesting. Cause like, I mean, like I said, like I generally don't, like I almost see it as like a waste of the ultimate to use it as an escape. Like I would use it as escapes if I had to sometimes, but it wouldn't, generally what I'd be doing would be targeting like a Zen, like trying to force transcendence yeah. out of him or something like that. Cause Zen is a, an easier target to hit because he moves so slow. But like you said, if you yeah. don't quite get him, then like, I mean, I've been there where McCree's just flashed me and killed me. Like you said, yeah, Zen's up. just going to charge up his alternate fire and kill you straight away. Um, mm -hmm. You can even get charged by Reinhardt. That's happened to me. That probably means I'm terrible. <laughs> hey, I had yeah, an 87% again... win rate <laughs> with old Doomfist anyway. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, it was only over like yeah. 12 games though. <laughs> Again, but like when you use it as an escape, doesn't mean you doesn't mean you have to ult nothing. That's the thing is that you can always ult someone who's like on your team. Like if you go on their backline, you can then ult your like the enemy frontline, like their Winston and their Diva, who's on your supports. And then not only are you escaping, you're also getting value with your ult because you're doing damage to tanks. All right. So where does Doomfist work? What maps does he work on? What team comps does he work in? Who is he very strong against, and who are you like you don't really want to play against, or who would you avoid? So fighting. generally, generally Doomfist is stronger on defense than it is on attack because you can do stuff like this. You can do the combo where you go in, shift E, and then get out. So generally, any map that has little, like a little bit of high ground, so pretty, pretty much anywhere you can shift up to like this is is good. So Iconwall, King's Row, Kingsworld, Hollywood, yeah. um, some of the King of the Hill stages like Dorado, Control Center. I guess, bits of Dorado. Dorado yeah, Dorado is very good. Um, most most payloads generally you want to avoid like Nambani first point attack for instance is very difficult because the high ground is a little bit too high that you can't shift E onto it it's just it's just a bit too high basically that means if you go in and you mess up you're you gonna dead. die yeah so you don't want you want to avoid in there on like Horizon is pretty bad so anywhere that has like close quarters as in there's walls everywhere like control center for instance it's all it's all indoors and there's like walls everywhere generally he's very strong um and on on attack, the problem with playing almost attack is it's, it's it's hard to get like big, big combos off to the same way. You know you can't get the same level of picks you can as on defense. So generally he's better on defense. Um, as for heroes, he's pretty much good versus every tank in the game, apart from I guess Roadhog, who's pretty bad against. Um, bad heroes is generally McCree is obviously the number one counter yeah, to Doomfist yeah. in my opinion. You get flashbanged, you're gonna pretty much die instantly. Um, Roadhog's pretty bad. Trace is pretty difficult to play against that's more of a skill matchup than anything else um yeah they're, they're they're the main ones that can't you so you just just generally the way you play against mccree so for instance t tips against each individual hero yeah let's go through that yeah so let's say they have a mccree generally what you want to do is you just want to line of sight the mccree and just just run in cover and then pre-fire e him and it'll stun him, which means he's probably going to miss his first shot because he's stunned. And then you want to try and uppercut him. Trying to punch a McCree is very risky. Obviously, if you if you can snipe him with the punch, it's free. But if you miss the punch, you instantly die because he just stuns you and right-clicks you and you die. Um, so generally, you want to try and engage with your E because not only does it stun him and knock him up, it gives you a 25 shield, which generally is enough to survive his combo. And then your uppercut will give you another 25 shield. Um, so you'll have like effectively 300 HP, which is enough to survive two two McCree headshots, um, and he's probably not going to hit two headshots because he's stunned for the duration. Um, as for Tracer, is a very very difficult matchup, but again, what you want to do is you kind of have to try and predict where she's going to blink. So let's say the Tracer's here, and like I'm charging my right click, then she's probably going to blink there. So I'll try and punch there and try and predict the blink, yeah. and also trying to predict recalls. But that again, that's very very difficult. Um, and then also the same thing applies let's say you're low on hp if the tracer is chasing you you can just run here and then bait her with your e and then boom combo her and kill her um as for roadhog i don't know you just have to play around this hook basically if you punch him you can if if the hog is um using his e in front of you it's better to just tap charge him 
Yeah, um, just sort of like okay, to, yeah, to, yeah. To, because it knocks him out of his E, and it is effectively more damage because it because he has the fifty percent damage reduction. Yeah, because like, your your punch will only do fifty damage, but it's compared to like a massive punch. That's actually that a really good tip, yeah, against Roadhog. Because generally, what I would do is when I see Roadhog uh, using his E, I would like think, okay, fully charge my fist, knock him into a wall, and then he just talks me and kills me. So yeah, yeah quick, you can, just quick you tap can, in the punch. Yeah, 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 just yeah. quick tap in the, and against enemy Doomfist as well. And the Doomfist one v one matchup. What's really important is that you you uh, you punch first. If you can get the punch off and you hit him before he releases his right click, his right click will go on cooldown, but it won't do anything to you. Yeah. If you release it at the same time, you both get knocked over, kind of similar to how Reinhardt works. Yes, um, yeah. And then it just depends who what position your team is. But it's, it's like let, let, let's say like you're here and you're flanking the Doom first, right? It's better to just tap charge him here and take like the little damage on the wall rather than risk getting a full charge. Because if he hits you back first, you're you're basically dead. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. Let's say um, we've got somebody who is like I don't know. Let's say an average Doom Fist player. What should they be looking to do to make themselves? Um... Like, kind of take their play to the next level. Like, we spoke about the more efficient combo. Instead of using, like, I, I mean, I do this, where I would use the uppercuts, jump up into the air, then I'd E down into the ground, then I'd try and punch them. Yeah. And that kind of leaves me with, like, no options, like I'm stuck. Also, I'm not mm -hmm. getting the uh, the stun in before the uppercut and then firing the primary fire into them. Like, what would be kind of basic tips you could give an average player to just instantly get better at Doom Fist? So basically, obviously my number one tip is to learn this charge and then using E shift. But generally, when you engage in Doomfist, you always want to have an escape option as one of your abilities. And pretty much all of your abilities can be escape options. So I want to go in here with my right click and then boom. And then I, I can shift E out and that, that's my escape, right? So even if I miss that right click, let's say I go here. Okay, it doesn't matter because I can escape. And let's say you want to do this. You want to do a different thing where you want to E shift in. Boom, then, then you can always just right click charge away, you know? It, it really depends on, um, but basically you just always make sure you have an escape. And then obviously you can go super aggressive when you have your ultimate because your ultimate is also an escape. Almost all of your abilities are mobility. Well, all of your abilities are mobility abilities. Um, that's a tongue twister. Uh, yeah. but, <laughs> but we just need to make sure we've always, always got one available yeah. or something yes, to get out. Yeah. Some sort of escape you always want to have to, to get out of sticky situations. And don't don't be afraid to use your ult to escape. It's, it's generally not a waste. I don't think Doofus ult is that strong, to be honest. It's kind of like a pulse bomb. That's how I viewed it. Like you just sort of use it whenever you kind of want to use it. Yeah, you kind of charge it, is kind it pretty of. quick. Um, yeah, I mean it charges it charges fast, but it's it's really hard to just get like those juicy like two or three kills that, that like people think it's worth for. If you can get one kill with your ult, it's almost always worth it. Yeah. Hello there. Mm. All right then. Any other crazy tips or anything like that you can think of? Um, well, there is a couple. For instance, if you do something like this, I'll, actually, I'll take it to Dorado because there's um, there's oh, a one yes, I like Dorado. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're gonna show but, us. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> professional player, I think he's called Leaf. Plays for Game of Origin. He he showed me this, and it's it's just in it's just in, like insane. I need to go to attack. And it, it's just like essentially the way the physics works in this game. It's like if you cancel your jump with space. As you go on a slidey surface, if you know what I mean by a slidey surface, yes, is where yeah, like yeah. you like slide down. It basically like launches you crazy high in the air. So for instance, you can do this. Like so, let's say there's an enemy, like right right here where my spray is, right? And you're you can literally just kill this guy from spawn with like him not having any idea because you just do this, boom. Okay, I messed that up. <laughs> it, it it is very difficult this one. So you want to go boom? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the pressure's on. Yeah, yeah, so oh, yeah, this, yeah, boom, yeah. Then you yeah. slide off and then boom. And then, then you get your E off. It only does like 40 damage. Doesn't really matter. And then you boom. The guy's stunned. And the guy literally has no clue what, what is going on. He's just chilling here, waiting for people to poke. And then all of a sudden, there's a doom for flying <laughs> on his face. It's similar to the one on Gibraltar you can do, but... That's 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 a little tick. Any any slidey surface, pretty much, you can, um, you can like, fly off if you... But you just need to make sure you jump just as you hit the slidey surface, or else you won't do anything. So if I just punch this, it'll just like stop like that. But if I jump just before it, it'll slide me up in the air. And if, if you do it properly as well, you can get you can get over here, which is ridiculous. But that's very difficult. I made a video on uh, Doomfist movement when he first came out. Uh, I spent hours messing around on like uh, on the pole on the ramps. You can sort of like <laughs> yeah. uh, blast up into the sky. You can do quite a few on. Um... I can bold as well, uh, but this was PTR Doomfist, so maybe there's been little changes to him which has stopped him doing all of them. But that type of like 
I don't know what I mean. What, what is that even called? Like sliding ledge sliding? Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah, it's just it's just it's just the way that the physics in the game works. So that, do you like, think this will ever get like, nerfed? Because Genji used to have the edge boost in, which you know all the best Genjis used to use all of the time, and that got yeah. kind of shut down. Well, well, edge boosting was like really unintuitive and didn't make any real sense like why you would fly off that but like this kind of makes sense right because you're kind of flying and gliding but i think there is a good chance it'll get nerfed but like i said i think it's one of those changes that's very very difficult to nerf because even when they changed the genji nerf for instance they didn't actually fix it they just like what they did is it still like flies you but it just like it basically stops your momentum dead after a certain distance so maybe they'll do something like that but like I said, I think it's core to the actual physics engine of the game. Yeah. Um, so it'd be very, very difficult to fix. Well, it's like Junkrat's rip tire, the way that currently works on live, where it just yeah. flies off the top of buildings. Like they are fixing that a little bit. But all right, so yeah. let's end the video on this. Doomfist, um, the strength of this hero. There's actually a lot of talk where people seem to think that he's not that powerful. Do you think that is like a load of crap? And also, um, do you think that's just because people don't really know how to play with Doomfist? Because of course, his fist was... Like a lot of people think this was a nerf, but this was actually a fist. So uh, a fist, it was a fist. It was actually a, a fix <laughs> with uh, Rocket Punch had a much larger hitbox on it, which it was reduced to what it is now. Like, do you think? Like, what would you say to people that, that say Doomfist isn't that good, or swap the Doomfist? He's not doing anything, or you know, Doomfist well, is broken. Generally well, generally, Doomfist is as a situational pick, right? It's not like a tracer where you can play it pretty much everywhere. That he's, he's, a, he's a map dependent hero. You can't play him on certain maps, which means if you're playing well, him what everywhere, you you're play generally him? doing something. Like, like I said, Nobani first point attack, it's just it just doesn't work. Yeah. Nobani first point in general is not that good. Like Lunar Horizon is not very good. Hollywood second point, Icon World second point, anywhere where there's really long elongated high grounds. So like a Dorado is another one, right? So you you can't you can't shift E up here, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's you just a little bit here. too high, so it's just not it's just quite too far. So you generally want to start to a Genji or something. Um, but for people who say he's, he's like underpowered because of the nerf, right? Like people who think that the rocket punch is like all of his kit is like it's wrong. Like I honestly don't think I even get. I probably get like forty percent of my kills with his right click. I think I get more kills with my uppercut combos than I do with my right click. If you if you use them properly, you can use your right click as a mobility tool more. Generally, your shift is your is your kill tool because of the way it locks them in place. You can't like air strafe when you're uppercut. So your shift is your main killing tool, and you can but you can also use it for for an escape. So so the right click nerf basically means that you don't use your right click for damage as much anymore. You generally want to use it for um, for mobility more than more than it does now. More than you did before, sorry. Yeah. Well, I think that was awesome. Like, uh, guys, uh, actually, Chips, uh, promote yourself. Where do you live stream? Watch your Twitter, all of that stuff. Right, so you can catch me live uh, over at twitch.tv slash chips OW. I stream pretty much every day, mainly Doomfist, some Genji and some other stuff. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter over at twitch. Um, sorry, twitter.com slash chips underscore OW. And I have a YouTube channel. Is I'm pretty sure it's just chips at ow as well on youtube so yeah. yeah thanks for watching i'll be live pretty much every day um yeah well there you go guys make sure you check him out especially if you're interested in doomfist plays well, i mean do you play any other heroes as well oh, yeah, obviously I, play you do, but I, what? Pretty, yeah. Pretty much, I play much pretty every dps hero in the game besides like tracer i play i used to play a lot of genji before because you can actually aim on like chris oh that's that is that's mean toxic that is mean. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. I've been Stylos and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed this video, then do let me know in the comments below. This is definitely something we can do more of, looking at like more like ultra advanced um, kind of tips and tricks. This kind of is a guide video in a way, but this is not something I could honestly, obviously produce. I'm never going to be at this level. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, then let me know in the comments below, and we'll try and do some more. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.